stars, what a show. <laughs> a little intermission. All those poor things need a break now, don't they? Oh. Ah, I see. You must be the human, that is. Going to knock the socks off my feet, as the humans say? Oh, you have such interesting lingos. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Ah, oh, you are smaller than I thought you'd be. No, no, it's just I'm in my more humanly attire and you're still quite tiny. Oh, you think I'm quite tall? Ah, oh. well, at least you have a little bit of a bite back, you know? <laughs> it's like one of those small little dogs you keep in a purse. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, what is your name, anyway? Ah, oh, at least you have a pleasant-sounding name. <laughs> I'm Persephone. I know. A gorgeous name for a gorgeous queen. Oh, you agree? Wonderful. At least you have good taste. Anyway, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I mean, I knew we were supposed to meet up, but you haven't been here quite often. I thought you just were going to show and I was going to get lucky. No, no, it's no offense to you personally. I just, this whole program is not really my cup of tea. I'm sure you're wonderful in human standards, but I'm a little bit more, how shall I say, of a higher standard. Yes, when I figured out that a Wilma had also fallen for this, well, it just proved what I thought about her. Well, she can talk the talk, but not walk the walk. <laughs> she pretends to be all tough, but she's really a softie. Oh, no, not me. <laughs> no, I hold myself again to a higher standard. Hmm? Oh, you've been practicing. You're going to be in the second act? You're an opera singer? Oh, wow. Oh, good. Perhaps you are above the human standard after all. Again, it's nothing against you personally. It's just humans. You live such small and insignificant lives. Mm, you say that others leave their mark, but within a couple generations, they were all but forgotten. My kind, we live for centuries upon centuries, eons upon eons, and we're so organized that not a single one of us, from the smallest to the largest, are forgotten. <sighs> yes, the only reason I joined this program was because Bonnebel... She's also attending with her lover. Said that I would find peace. Now the only reason that I would ever get with a human is so I could change a few things around you. Well, keep it organized. You humans have very interesting ways of writing your history. Yes, and I can improve upon it. <laughs> that way your little, little lives can be more significant. They can matter more. Generation after generation, you can honor your heritage. Oh, sounds great, does it not? Oh, no, I'm not the one for organizing. That's Yasmin. Oh, <laughs> she's interesting as well. No, oh, no, not in a bad way. Just in a very talkative way. 
She wants to know every little thing about everyone. And that's just not... It's not... What's the word for it? Productive? Productive, yes. You see, organization is important, but mainly it's just the information that counts. Every little detail doesn't matter. Oh, and she has unorthodox music tastes. Oh, yes, the reason I was chosen for this opera was because I adore opera music from humans. Dare I say, it is one of the only things that are... Well, the fact that it came from your kind is surprising. But I do adore it. The notes. Pushing yourself to your limit. That is what I enjoy. The tunes, the motion. Oh. And you said you were singing, correct? I look forward to seeing you perform, then. I will be watching you eagerly. <laughs> do not worry, do not worry. I know I sound harsh, but since you are human, I will be lenient. <laughs> I think they're calling you on stage. <laughs> I'll see you when you get back. Wow, what a performance. You, yes you, you didn't tell me you could sing like that. Oh, come now, with me you cannot be humble. No, sing your praises, tell me your confidence. Oh yes, there it is, praise yourself, you deserve it. That was one of the best tunes I think I've ever heard. I've listened to a lot of opera, you know. And I think this one is my favorite. Yes, by far. You are something special. Far above your... colleagues. <laughs> no, do not deny it. I do not want to see anything humble from you. I will not allow it. You are above the human standard, and I will let everyone know that. Every single one of them. Oh, you will not be forgotten, that is for sure. I will not allow it. No, perhaps I can extend your lifespan? There's no rules against it. You could rule alongside me, and I can hear your tunes every morning. Oh, what a way to wake up. <laughs> well, to be around you would be extra special. Hmm, I don't know why, but I think... I think I want to try this out. You and I. Hmm? Because you've shown me what humans are capable of. Now, I always think that you are going to be more special than the rest. But perhaps I've been a little bit too judgmental. I tend to do that. <laughs> what do you say? Hmm? You want me to return to my... other form? Are you sure? I have to admit... I don't look anything like a human. No, well, I look humanoid, but my skin is pink, my hair is curly. Hmm? Um, all right, if you say so. Close your eyes, all right? Oh, it's just a little bit bright when I transform. And here we are. <laughs> Yes, I know, I look quite different. Oh no, I'm still quite shrunken down. <laughs> yes, I, I didn't want to, you know, throw off your Earth's gravity. 
So, what do you think? Pretty amazing, right? Oh, you like it? I mean, I knew you would, but it's nice to hear you say that. <laughs> you think I'm beautiful? My, my. A compliment like that deserves a kiss, no? <laughs> All right. I'm going to give it on the top of your head. <laughs> Hold still. There we are. <laughs> oh, you humans turn red. That's close to pink, you know. And so cute. Alas, I must go. But I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Ta-ta now. Don't miss me too much.